G'day guys, in this video we're going to be crossing the Nullarbor Plains. How are you going there? My name is Elvin Pyle, I hope you're doing well. If you're not, make sure you reach out to someone and have a chat. Look, in this video, like I said before, we are crossing the Nullarbor Plains, but I got to tell you, there is a lot to do in the Nullarbor Plains. Our trip was pretty rushed, we needed to get across the WA for work. So, we only stopped in uh, two nights on the Nullarbor, three days. And we, even then we explored a couple of cool spots like uh, there's this cave area we explored a archaeological dig site which is pretty cool and of course the regulars like Old Nullarbor Roadhouse and camping oh my god there's some awesome free camps on the Nullarbor Bunda Cliffs is where we stayed at another little bush camp which is pretty awesome I'm going to show you all of that in this video so sit tight and let's get into it our Nullarbor journey started from Streaky Bay it was a fairly late start to the day we didn't leave the campground until 10 o'clock so we didn't really make too many stops. We did have a stop to check out the dingo fence. It is considered one of the longest structures in the world and stretches from Dolby in Queensland all the way down to the Nullarbor Plain in South Australia, a total of 5,614 kilometers. Our next stop was the famous Nullarbor Roadhouse. It's a great place to get fuel, food, get some supplies and souvenirs, and they have accommodation available in the form of rooms or powered caravan sites. There's also the old Nullarbor Roadhouse and some relics to check out, which is pretty cool. And this is where we spotted our first Nullarbor dingo. Quite a common occurrence apparently around here. They're all grasshoppers. First night on the Nullarbor, we left Streaky Bay at about 10.30. This morning now it's like 6.30. Just pulled up at this magic little spot, man. You can see behind me is a cliff edge, the Great Australian Bite. We are at Bunda Cliffs Campground. Found that on Wiki Camps app. Uh, if you haven't got the app, it is worth every single cent. It's about eight bucks and it is just, it's got every campsite, point of interest, dump points, water points, everywhere in Australia. It is so good. Anyways, so this uh, Bunda Cliffs campground is about uh, about 60 k's um, from the Nullarbor Roadhouse west towards the border, and about 100 k's from the border east. Uh, that's the WA South Australia border, and it is just awesome. There's heaps of room around here, the cliffs to shelter from the wind if it gets a bit too much. Right on the cliff edge, it is beautiful. Uh, today, believe it or not, it rained all pretty much the whole way here. Yeah, it rained on the Nullarbor, right? That never happens except for when we're traveling it. Anyways, it's rained, but now it's, the rains have stopped, just starting to clear now. The sun even came up there for a second. It is awesome. So hopefully in the morning, we'll get a, um, some nice photos and stuff of the cliffs. It'd be pretty cool. Righto, guys. We're going to settle in for the night. Got our beers cracked open. I'll well, see you guys later, eh?
The next morning, as we were making our way towards the border, we stopped in to check out the scenic lookout number two. This is just one of many to choose from. After that, it was our turn to cross the border, which was a pretty simple and quick process. Firstly, the police checked our border passes, which we had applied for days earlier and had been approved for already. Following this, we spoke with the quarantine officers who inspected our fridges and caravan and car to make sure we weren't bringing in any prohibited items, such as fresh fruit and vegetables. Just past the border, we stopped at the Eucla Roadhouse where we grabbed some lunch and the kids enjoyed playing in the playground and checking out the whale statue. After a nice long play, full bellies and a full tank of diesel, we settled in to make some Ks, chasing those white lines into the horizon. been a slow trip today we pulled up at uh, to check out Madura caves um, so look it on the ground because Eshlin just came here one of them is asleep in the car so we left the kids in the car and we've taken our turns she came up and she saw a snake she took a video of it so if I find the video I'll put it in and she took a photo too uh, by, the, by the looks of the photo it's just a python so she didn't want to go in so it's my turn to go. I've um, got to be honest with you, I don't really want to go in because all the reports say there's like bones and stuff, kangaroo bones and rabbit bones and stuff. So I don't know if um, it's a dingo den or something like that. <sighs> okay, I don't know how I feel about this. Anyways, gonna go and explore just a little bit, see what I can find. I'm gonna leave this thing turned on in case something happens, then you'll uh, you'll know what happened to me. There's like there's there rig at the top just a bit of a dirt road coming in not too far off the highway if you see oh there's some bones kangaroo bones or something i'm looking out for uh, any dingo or dog tracks what's this thing is i'm a really shit tracker i have no idea one thing to see prints oh there's some kangaroo droppings some more bones there oh, it's still got a bit of skin on it oh man apparently you go into one of the caves i don't know which one and it opens up oh there's bones everywhere and look out for snakes too more bones more bones there's a cave and it's just full of bones man Hi. yeah I'm down the bottom looking at the cave and there's stuck bones everywhere outside and I can see inside the cave and it's just full of bones man oh that's a bit nasty don't be freaked out there was some welcome swallows coming in and out not too welcoming. Come back, we'll go to the, the dick. Yeah, because there's some carcasses in there that's still got skin and I've got a bit of a smell coming. Retreat! Righto. <laughs> oh guys, I don't know if you heard that conversation. I got the got the handheld and the wife's obviously in the car with the wired in UHF. Uh, I think I've seen and smelt enough, so I'm gonna try and get back to the car without getting bitten by a snake. And we're actually gonna go keep going because there is a, um, like a, what do you call them things? It's a dig site where they dug up the prehistoric, um, oh, I can't really think of the name of them, but I'll put it down. <laughs> anyway, you're gonna see it anyway because we're gonna go there now and check it out. So next time I see, oh, we just gotta go through the dingo fence. And, um, shit, that's a good point. I don't know what side of the dingo fence I'm on. If I'm on the dingo side or the other side. No, it must be on the dingo side because oh, we've seen plenty of dingoes at the Nullarbor. So anyways, I'll see you guys at the other side and I'll tell you all about it.
the road? Caravan. Finally, I'm driving. <laughs> That's right, she hasn't even driven this uh, this time around since we left Harvey Bay. And now she's driving it on the dirt. Caravan in tow. Hey, how's it going? Oh, this is the first time you're towing on the new rig. Yeah. How's it feel? Yeah. <laughs> I keep saying that I missed my old uh, price and it's perfectly set up for long distance towing. Ah, but uh, this definitely does tow better. This is Bones. I thought this was a kangaroo tail. This bit from the tail and this bit from the other tail. Bye. So do you want to tell us what this is all about? This is a paleontological site and it's got some old fossils here apparently. So they said just go through the rubble and you might see some fossils. There's lots of shells. Here at the Inland Sea Paleontological Dig Site, you can search for fossils that inhabited this area over 15 million years ago, when it was all part of the sea floor. We found plenty of pretty shells and sand dollars amongst the heap rubble of sand and limestone. The Nullarbor is the world's single largest piece of limestone rock, known as a cast. It is thought to originate from calcium deposits derived from marine organisms that lived and died and accumulated over millions of years. Once the sea retreated and the southern Australian landmass tilted up, this section has been elevated 100 metres and pretty much well preserved for over 15 million years. The Madura Caves is just one of numerous caves and blowholes that riddled the Nullarbor. The Madura Cave provided the remains of a dingo that is the oldest direct data specimen at just under 3,500 years old. Not that old in the history of this great land, but old enough to realize that these caves are ancient and carry on so much history and significance. After a long day on the road as the sun was setting, we looked on wiki camps to find our closest free camp, which happened to be the Gilbanya Rockhole East Track Free Camp. There's also a blowhole just down the track a little bit, but we didn't actually check it out. There's plenty of room and plenty of sites to choose from. The tracks take you right away from the road if you need to get away from the road noise. Even though there was plenty of big bins right along the main road, there was heaps of rubbish spread throughout the entire bushland. But the further you go away from the road, the less the rubbish there was. The next morning, after doing a few Ks, we pulled into the nearby Kaguno Roadhouse for some coffee and a feed. Being our third day on the Nullarbor, we just got to smashing out the Ks, and even though we had planned to stop at Norseman, we ended up going straight through and setting up in Esperance. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Nullarbor Plains is an awesome place to be. Honestly, you could take a month and do a lot more on the plains than we did, but you know, we gotta do what we can do and that's all the time we had. But anyways, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to let us know that you're enjoying our content. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. We are working and traveling our way around Australia and we wanna take you along for the ride as well. So you can find out all the places we go and see if you wanna put it on your list. Anyways, we'll catch you in the next one. See ya.